farm is kind of laid back Ain't much an old country boy like me can't hack It's early to rise, early in the sack I thank God I'm a country boy Well, a simple kind of life never did me no harm I'm Raising me a family and working on the farm the Days are all filled with an easy country charm Thank God I'm a country boy Today is April 13th and we're having a 7 o'clock video for you guys ready to go. And you know what? Tonight our video is about when we're going to get into the field for crops. It's going to be a, quite a while and what's going on outside. So if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe and be, be sure to enjoy the farm life here in South Dakota. So today we got out of school early and taking part we got out of school early because it's blizzarding outside april 13th blizzard i i've been around this world for 15 years i know it doesn't seem that crazy but never had a blizzard this late my dad's told me about blizzards being like about the same time of the year but he only remembers one of them in his lifetime well here's the thing we've been getting rain and there's lots of moisture in the ground so the issue which means you know, people might think, hey, moisture's good and all, but then again, you gotta think, hey, we wanna get in the field. I know I know people who have been in the field for a couple weeks already, tilling up their fields, getting planted. We haven't, we won't even be able to get into the field till May. That's, that's not even planting. That's when we gotta start our tillage, and then we gotta get our soybeans, beans, or excuse me, our wheat, then our corn, then our soybeans planted. So at the beginning of May, once it dries up, it's going to be quite a heckful couple of weeks. In other days, we've got our cattle, and, you know, it's doing. they're doing pretty good over in the barn. I could go over there, but, you know, I can't even see out my window. It's so bad because of the snow. But the cattle are doing good. Last night, got the barn bedded. Because this blizzard's going to be pretty treacherous, and sometimes with the new plywood, the snow likes to slip underneath into the barn, so I had to get it nice and bedded so no more snow got in here. Because in the forecast, quite amazingly, they said 12 to 15 inches in our area. It's amazing, but what do you do? God said, give us, God wants snow here, so what do you do, I guess? As well... In other things we talk about, we're going to be getting into planting, and for planting, we're going to get lots of footage for you guys as well once the ground thaws out. Once it war once we get that going, once the ground thaws out, then you know what we got to do is we get a pocket gopher trap. Like I said, like we said in our one of our first ever videos on how to pocket trap pocket gophers, um, it's a lot harder to trap after a rain. And gophers, when the ground is quite cold like it is in the springtime, they're, like, not so smart. They don't really know what they're doing because it's cold. So it's much easier to trap them because they'll just run right into the trap. And you know what you do is you get more money for them gophers. So what happened, and as well as having all that moisture in the ground from the snow and the spring rains, they bring they gr they make quite a few more holes, which makes it quite a lot more heptic. As well as I've got places planned out for where I'm going to trap. I'm going to head over, get buy some extra traps this year. Just going to be fully loaded. Been trapping them gophers. So that's basically most of the update on the farm. You know, not much is going on. Just this blizzard. Terrible blizzard. What do you do? Too bad it wasn't on a Thursday because then we wouldn't have school on a Friday. But what do you do? So, yeah, this is Farm Life SD's Friday video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and next week we will be having a tillage talk coming for you on Friday, and hopefully I'll be able to get my seedlings started in the basement pretty quick. Unlike other people I know who run channels and have a farmer's market, they have high tunnels and stuff, well, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit till I know when the ground is going to be thawed out and everything since all this winter stuff is going on. I'm going to get that them seeds ready to roll in the basement i'll make a video for you guys on that and yeah so be sure to like comment subscribe and have a nice evening